All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the empire, I'm back. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I only say okay, because there's just a reality of our nation that, uh, you know, always hits me hard. Relax. Okay. Great. Oh, we got more than just two quests to turn in at a uh, Stellar Bay. We got like three or four. What is, what is this journal, journal, journal? Oh, that's for Lilia Hagen. That's not gonna affect anything we do with the uh, people of Silver Bay, really. have no clue what I'm gonna do with all those raptid on me or why I keep Don't taking worry, it. worry all that ammo in your berth might combust? What? Wait, that's... it can do that? All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day and... Poof, I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling. The concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting or the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. Uh, she's a very anxious person, so I can see why. All right. Let's uh, turn in some of these quests. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we're going to pass Velma's shop on the way. What Maybe job not. the board assigned you when you came of age? That it was something real neat, like professional flexing. Wilderness Patrol. Plenty of folk traveling on foot out there, even back when there were roads. I protected them from raps and the like. When there were roads? Can I go somewhere? A aside from wherever they were headed, I mean. Ain't nobody around to maintain them anymore. So now they're cracked and crumbled. Monarch's taking its land back. Yeah. Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Mioka. Sir, please stop. <laughs> Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. A great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, you and for kidney. years, I was a joke to them. Yeah, you what? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. Why would you I do that? I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. No. Apparently not. <laughs> Okay, um, who cares what they think you're in charge now? Uh, what? That's what you get for giving so much of yourself to over to a corporation. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I built? Stellar Bay is barely keeping afloat. Take it easy, you've kept the city running against all odds. Do you want a medal? You're right, no. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? Uh, yeah, here. Oh, I wait. see. Yeah, let's ask him. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Why are you still keeping up? That You might as well just call yourself the mayor and be done with it. 
Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. And you paid me with 600 bits, right? Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. Okay, so what does it do? For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Okay, spare me the details, just uh, tell me what comes next. Let me guess, a paperweight? So do you want to go against the board? Don't be ridiculous. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. Hey! But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Okay, well, sounds like you know her well enough yourself. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Oh, I didn't intend to kill how her. you people put it? Close enough. Watch, yeah, watch it. Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. So kidnap somebody. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. I mean, if they got guards out front, I can just run up, grab one, and leave. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Uh, I've asked myself the same thing many times, especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Do you mean that you initiated your own removal? Got ahead of yourself again? Oh, like that, this is why you can't trust corporations and their so-called laws. It's true, the board has treated us unfairly, but I'd always envisioned that things could be different. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. Okay. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were... mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave him a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. But, but there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. So, sort of a worker revolution. 
It's humane. But it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. Exactly. I hope you'd treat them nice whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being a community means. Treating people right because it's the right thing to do. Hear, hear. That may not be the way the colony works, but it damn well ought to. Mm. A noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out. Interesting. Creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. Except it was a toxic hellhole. And you should have chosen another one. I take it your leadership didn't embrace the idea? That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Uh, yet here you are. I hope you gave them the finger. Guess you missed the transport. Many of us chose to stay behind. And as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Right. I don't think I realized how far they'd stoop. Ha! <laughs> Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. Corporations don't care. I do think care. there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Uh... Straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. But wait, what happens to the folks stuck on the wrong side of dangerous? Well, I'm afraid the welfare of a few hundred people is too minor a figure into the board's risk assessments. Yeah, and that's how they, how corporations always work. Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. Oh, uh, why exactly do you want the board back? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Yeah. That'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. Why don't you get assistance from the Groundbreaker if you can? Uh, I can't fault you for your practicality. I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. I mean, it's a, be it's a better plan than just sitting here and doing nothing. Indeed. I've discovered it's much easier to negotiate from a position of power. And I oh, don't yeah. need to leave MSI or its people at a disadvantage. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. Okay. He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. Oh, they seem like no nice people, from what I've seen so far. A chance. They've been doing this for years. And I, well, let's just say I know enough about Graham to be confident that he won't change. Well, it isn't trying. just that they drain our people and resources. 
Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. What right. can I do for you? Well, bye. I got some other stuff to turn in. Good talking to you. Sounds like last I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Who's spat in your spirits, Velma? You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seeing triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? Found your man, he's uh... He's, he's, uh... That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Nah, he's, he's dead. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Cheer up, maybe you can hire somebody better, no. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Uh... What's this about your foreman? Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. Awfully, ni uh, awfully nice of you to... You not to say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Or new, I guess. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Everything. Uh, Everything's like, fishy. <laughs> he and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to him. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the yacht club. He's usually there. Okay. I'd rather come to an equitable position because I am not a scab. Excuse me. Let's first talk to Agnes, though. Where is she? Was she this way? No. I think she was this way. Maybe not. Ah, let's actually check. Oh, oh god. On the entire other side of town. Which I also think is where that bar is, so we what can was talk to him. I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? You two need to work this out. There's nothing to work out. My baby's back home, and that's all there is to say on the matter. No, Mama. I have plenty to say about this. But that's between us. 
Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me can have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuk Tuk home safe again. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Can I? Don't worry about me, Captain. Mama and I'll work this out. All right, all right. You don't need my help. Wait, what? What is that? Broker. What broker? Oh, oh, the information broker. No, let's uh, actually. Let's investigate that murder if we can. Just get a lot of stuff done today. Because why not? I don't... Oh. Interesting. So now what? This gate left field of toss ball betting. Hey, Nell. If it isn't the famous hacker enjoying Stellar Bay. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like What can to I do her. for you? I forgot about that. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Uh, cut to the chase. Do you know what, who did it or not? I'm listening. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Okay. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Understood. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. All right. So they're behind the bar. What do you think of the unreliable Parvati? There's always something to fix, and it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Now, if I drill through the hull, we all suffocate. Exciting, you know. I, I'm not sure I wanted to know that. <laughs> Being in space sets me on edge enough. You know about stellar emissions? A actually, I probably shouldn't tell you about those. Yeah, don't. I mean, not unless you want to know how we're all likely to get spacers lung. Right. Okay. When we get back to the ship, I'm drinking this conversation right out of my recollection. <laughs> Good thing she hasn't been on the ship yet. Hey, guys. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Be silent, woman. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. That's disgusting. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Okay. I wish I could have intimidated them, but. To shreds, you say? Oh my God! It's a, it's a, it's a um, Futurama reference. Oh, 
couple of more ash piles. Uh, wait a minute. It came in through here. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Yeah, solve the murder. But that's terrible. What happened? But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to reestablish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Okay, um, something to be said for that. Sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Thank you. All right, now we got one last thing to I do. I know what it is, but my gun's been acting funny used to be I had to correct for a bit of leftward drag. Got used to standing just so, and after a while it put a thorn in my side, something awful. Lately, though, it ain't pulling. I find my stance much improved. Oh, that's real good to hear. It took me a while to... Uh, never mind. What? Girl, have you been touching my stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have asked. I just got real bored, and... I seen you leaning, and the gun was sitting right there. You know, the last time I caught someone messing with my equipment, I threw them in a sulfur pool. But I appreciate the help. You want to make modifications? Just come ask me, all right? I ain't gonna bite. Yeah, you should. You should ask. <laughs> you should ask before doing I that. Hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit. Right, we're first. Let's do this, and let's do this correctly. Five there. Let's do leadership. And long guns. Oh, no, I wanted to go to journal too. Nope. Nope. There we go. He's upstairs. New face, huh? You from off world? Yeah. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an NSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. Yeah. It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch. We're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Very true. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? How long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. A week? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. 
The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What, what now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. It would really depend on what you mean, because she does pay herself. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? We'll see. I got two leads. Maybe I can take his money and see about the blackmail. Is that just stash? How the hell do I get into his house? Because he said house, not apartment. Oh, it's just around the back? What? I've been following two different <laughs> waypoints. Oh my god. I feel so dumb. Hmm. So maybe if I head upstairs, I'm just sort of. What is this bathroom? Yep. not think this is the best way. Right, so we'll just work our way around the front. Because there's got to be a way in. This is strange. This is very strange. Maybe. Nope, that's not gonna work. <sighs> Maybe it's just the crate itself that's the stash? I think it is. And I can't hack it. Lovely. All right. Um, let's go see if we can talk to Velma. Where's she at? Right, right here? Go. I'd give you a friendlier well. Yeah, 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 whatever. Unless you're here to... T I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. Right. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire Sublight contractors at this rate. Oh, okay. For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home, near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. 
Someone's got to keep the lights on. I'll be Bye -bye. right back. Cuz I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them about the whole sublight thing and see what that what he does about that. Why don't you grab a chair? Sure thing. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. I mean, cause, cause the whole thing about it is, y the what the four of you, three, four have enough money saved up for a week, maybe two, and you're all spending it here at the bar. Like, come on. <laughs> It's different if you're buying food and like trying to get your own something together. But you're not even doing that. Sebastian's out here selling animal parts and that nobody wants. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but- Blah, 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 yes I know. Well that's awful nice of him sure wouldn't have expected that thanks for your help you've gotten me out of a tight spot here take this for your efforts honest work deserves honest pay something else on your mind nope All right, so. Let's actually do this, because I don't want it. What, what do I really need blocking for? I don't use melee weapons that often. <sighs> Snake hacking. And movement speed, extra bonus for headshots and weak spots. All right, so this is carrying capacity, armor rating. Wait, what? The bike companion is 25% health. Interesting. think when we return we're gonna finally head off to Fallbrook so I thank you so so very much ladies gentlemen citizens of the Empire for joining me and when we return we're gonna deal with some criminals this time and probably also help out Vicar Max if we can we'll we'll see I think there's a landing pad in Fallbrook if I remember correctly I don't know. We'll see. But thanks so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.